Oh, howdy all, grab yourself a beer, it's time for some Path of Exile discussion. Today, I wanted to look at one of the new divination cards that was introduced with the Ultimatum League in 3.14. Prejudice is a divination card that is very simple. It gives you a unique item which is influenced. Uh, there's a lot of unique items in the game, so I'm keen to turn in a reasonably large number of sets of this card to get some sort of sense as to what you can expect from it. Uh, so I have gone and done the horrible, horrible, horrible act of trading for 17 sets of this divination card. That is 119 cards, uh, and that cost me a total of about 220 Chaos Orbs. However, it cost me a lot more time. The time actually hurt a lot more than the Chaos Orbs did. So without any further ado, let's start turning them in and see what we get. First up we get a Facebreaker with Terrible Rolls and Elder Influence. So the interesting thing here is that you're getting anything from the Drop Anywhere Unique pool, uh, but it will have a random influence on it. A Rumvrax with a Warlord Influence. Uh, a Rumvrax is an interesting leveling item and it's well rolled, but unfortunately not really of any interest to endgame players. Another Facebreaker, this time we have Shaper Influence and we've got a slightly better roll on it. Uh, we'll keep turning things in. Bones of Ulla with the Warlord influence on it. Uh, Bones of Ulla doesn't really have any synergy with the Warlord influence. I should just quickly state that the purposes of influence, uh, partly it's simply that it provides a couple of synergies with specific uniques. So for instance, uh, Facebreaker uh, doesn't really benefit from this, but Elder influenced items uh, can be used in conjunction with the unique items Disintegrator, which has synergies with Elder items you have influenced, and also uh, Grasp of the Blasphemer, I think it's called, or maybe it's Blasphemer's Grasp, which is a set of Elder Influenced gloves that have rewards for you having lots of Elder Influenced items. Shaper Influence is really good on a lot of things because of the very powerful chest, the Eternity Shroud. Additionally, there are synergies with the Shaper and Elder uh, Unique Rings, Mark of the Shaper and Mark of the Elder, respectively. Uh, but that's about it. Otherwise, it's just for bling. So these boons, Bones of Ula look cool. Uh, we have an Obliteration with Shaper Influence. That is actually really good. Someone is going to want that thing. Someone is really going to find a use for that if anyone is playing a build that is using the Eternity Shroud in conjunction with Obliteration, which is really niche, but it, it is cool. Geoffrey's Crest with uh, Warlord Influence, bleh. Mortem Morsu with Warlord Influence is a bleh. Uh, that's, that's just a dud. Willow Gift. Willow Gift I thought was a uh, Conqueror exclusive unique. Sorry, Willow Gift was a Conqueror exclusive unique. Uh, it has recently changed to be in the global Drop Anywhere unique pool. So in any previous league, this had no potential of gaining influence by any means. Uh, now this may be one of the very first uh, Warlord influenced Willow Gifts to exist. I do find it interesting that I've had zero Crusader, Redeemer, or um, or Hunter influenced items so far. Uh, time Clasp with influence, and Time Clasp is interesting in that some people want 7% uh, cast speed, there is also some weird meme build, I believe, that wants... Um, there's something on this that's best if it's negative, I think. Uh, anyway, I don't know what that is. Um, Slippery Jim, the streamer, is an absolute legend. Uh, he knows more about that than I do. Uh, Kitava's Thirst. Kitava's Thirst is interesting in that it is a genuinely rare unique. It's the first rare unique I've had. Uh, in this, it's not particularly great, but it has some niche uses. And a Shaper influenced one, at least it's something cool. Uh, again, it's probably something that doesn't exist in the league, and if anyone's playing some super meme uh, Eternity Shroud build, they may want that. Deerstalker, on the other hand, no one is going to care that it is Redeemer influenced. However, that does prove that you can get Redeemer influenced items. Uh, Bones of Ula again, quite a common unique. This one is Crusader influenced. So all of the things I'd noticed about not getting specific uh, types of influence, that was just solely due to a low, uh, to a sm very, very, very small sample size. Mark of Submission with Hunter Influence. This one's interesting. So this is a unique item that is fairly strong, uh, but very niche. And the fact that it's influenced, again, it's it doesn't help it that much. If it had been Shaper Influence, this would be an amazing hit. Uh, but being, uh, being Hunter Influence, there's no synergies with that. It's just something that looks cool. Joffrey's Sanctuary. This is an item that used to be amazing and has a, that the build that it was for has had some pretty significant nerfs since. Um, Crusader Influence looks cool on it, but 
it is just a case of looking cool. Uh, this is not really something that I think has much utility, uh, just something that's a little bit of a fun toy. Arantu Tiki uh, is a bad item. Well, I mean, it's kind of cool at low level, but it is just a low level item. It has a minimum level of one for a reason, uh, and it has no benefit from being Crusader influenced. Veruso's Battering Rams. Uh, unfortunately, this is going to be a bit of a dud, and at this point, I've run out of inventory space. And because we are so, so, so close to finished, I decided I'd play some inventory Tetris and figure out if I could make everything fit, and I managed to do it. So what do we got last? We got a Twizel Elder Influence, which is completely useless to us. So, in terms of the good hits, what did we get that was genuinely good out of these uh, 17 sets of this card? Kid Hover's Thirst with Shaper Influence. I think this might be genuinely useful to someone. Uh, I'm not sure who that person will be. Uh, they're not me, but I'm sure that this will be useful to someone. Obliteration with Shaper Influence, this is genuinely good. This is a genuinely good hit that might actually recover all of the cost of the 119 Divination cards that I used in the making of this video. Uh, and then the rest of the stuff is all meme items, nothing particularly impressive. That said, though, I have to say that this has already become one of my favourite divination cards in the game, uh, just because it makes weird and wonderful treasures exist that otherwise just would not exist in Path of Exile. Anyways, I'm uh, going to leave it there. If you've got any comments or questions, far away below. Uh, if you've got any other particular recommendations for your favourite divination card, let me know them. Uh, but I'll leave it there, and I hope you have a good one.